You guys are not going to believe this. Plague Rock has cancer. Hey guys, today is August 12th. Here's an update on my hair after I shaved all of it off for a live stream. So right now, I'm not considered bald anymore. But when I was bald, kinda, I realized there were a lot of advantages of being bald. Before I begin, I want to apologize for the lack of vlogs on this channel, since most of my vlogs relied on traveling, and since I can't do that right now, that explains it. I tried to do a part 2 of hunting for river treasure, where I walk down a dried up river and see if there's anything interesting in the dried up river. But the most interesting thing I found on that run was a flashlight. So yeah, looks like I had to make my own content, by shaving my head completely bald. So yeah, the bald experience. I realized there's a lot of advantages of being bald. Let me show you some. First of all, I realized that I won't get helmet hair anymore, no matter how long I ride for. And for all you nerds out there, you won't get VR headset hair anymore. Which yes, is a thing. And of course, no bad head, even after you take a shower. Being bald also makes it slightly easier to put on a mask. At least for me anyway, because I had these annoying bangs of hair on my side which I had to ravel the mask through. The same goes for my glasses. I no longer have to worry about putting them under the bangs on the side of my head. They just slide on easily now. By the way, you probably noticed already, don't buy this brand of glasses. Especially from Sam's Club. They're Columbia and one of the most expensive glasses in the store. And one day when I got out of the shower and picked these up, this thing fell off completely for no good reason. So yeah, you may have noticed how I fixed it. Don't know if I'll be replacing these anytime soon. Anyway, more advantages of being bald. The wind from an open window when you're driving your car feels good on your bald scalp. Air conditioning feels the same way also. Am I the only one that does this? And the obvious, you don't have to use shampoo, or at least use as much of it. Save that money! You don't have to wait for your hair to dry, or blow dry it, only for it to be a frizzled mess after it dries. Also for me, it's so empowering for me to not have to comb it. Since almost every time I go on vacation, I forget to pack a comb. Usually when I forget the comb, I find the nearest fast food restaurant and ask for a fork. I don't know why I'm too cheap to buy a second comb to keep in my suitcase. But yeah, no worries of that anymore. Mostly since I can't travel anymore. Another pretty obvious one, no hair and face. This applied to me before I shaved my head off since I couldn't get a haircut. And the hair came really close to touching my eyeball. This probably only applies to me also, but when I go a few hours without washing my hair, the hair on the front of my head just clumps up and you get that stupid greasy <laughs> barcode look that I hate. Not a problem now. My hair will still look the same even if I go days without showering. Oh wait, oh no, I'm turning into a melee player. Ugh, you don't want to become that. My bald head at the beginning was also fun to feel, and it still kinda is now. You can do this all day and it won't get messed up, unlike long hair which is very easily messed up. Also, if you're looking to save more money and give yourself a self haircut, just shaving it all off would be the easiest haircut you could give yourself, obviously. I mean, I did all of this by looking at a webcam stream on my laptop that had a slight delay. Barbershops don't want people to be easily able to cut their own hair. And also, when you're done showering, there's no hair in the hair trap that you have to clean out. And there won't be any hair clogging your drain. Even with my hair this long, I still notice no hair in the hair trap. And that concludes all of the advantages I noticed from going bald. But now, I have a list of cons from going bald. This con list is actually really short, and the problems in this list aren't that big of a problem. For one thing, you can feel the sun beat down on your head harder, but that's not a problem if you wear a hat. Or stay inside most of the time, like I do, along with everybody else. And these problems don't apply if you go completely bald, I didn't. I only shaved down as far as the hair clippers would let me go, I didn't wax or anything. But yeah, that one millimeter of stubble caused some slight problems. For example, it's slightly harder to put on a shirt, cause that stubble catches onto that shirt. 
And that stubble catches onto your pillow when you're sleeping, so yeah, you can't really slide around that easily. Same goes when you're drying your bald head with a towel. That towel gets caught onto that stubble. Right now, it's not as big as a problem for me since it's slightly grown out, so yeah, that's not a huge issue. Also, the number one disadvantage of going bald is looks. This problem probably only applies to me since I have an online presence, but people were shocked when I <laughs> shaved my head completely bald. Since I had the same long hair in years of video, so this was a big change to them. And I got roasted for it. Because, do you know how many bald characters there are? Just look at some of these egregious replies to my tweet after I came out as bald. So disrespectful. We get it, there's a lot of bald characters in our media. And that's all the advantages and disadvantages of going bald. So what do you guys think? Did I miss any pros or cons of being bald? Tell me in the comments down below! There are definitely way more advantages of going bald, so I recommend going bald no matter if you're male or female. Will I keep on going bald every time I get a haircut? Probably not. Honestly, the only reason that I don't want to stay bald is because I'm just too used to my long black hair. And so with that, thank you guys for watching, comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys later. Bald, I mean, Bye!